Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, today we're gonna to be doing a Zara try on haul. I don't want this to be super long, so we're gonna get right into it, but it has been a minute, y'all. I posted my last Zara haul months and months ago, and I was kind of obsessed with Zara for a little bit, so I had to take a step away and just kind of like give myself a break when it came to Zara. So I'm super excited to show you guys what pieces I have in this video. And also be sure to check the description box. I will have all of the links, of course, down below in the order that it was shown in the video, as well as my sizes so you can use me as a reference or my measurements so you can use me as a reference when shopping. And yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna start with what I have on. This is like a bat wing sweater situation and it is a complete zipper. So I could zip this all the way up if I took it off, but obviously I'm not gonna take it off right now, but I have it zipped right here. You can unzip it a little more if you want a little, a little more going on right there, but I have it zipped right there and this is so comfortable y'all. I cannot wait until it gets chillier out because I have so many ideas to wear with this sweater. I have it on in a size large and as you can see, it is like super bat wing, but it is gorgeous. The color is like a, like a sage, olive, very muted green and I just, freaking love it. So I paired it with these jeans. I believe these are the same jeans she had on in the photo, but I'm not 100% sure if I would wear these jeans necessarily, but these jeans I have on in a size US 10, I believe. It will be down below, but I like these jeans. I just, I don't know. I definitely need to get them taken in at the waist. Y'all know Zara's jeans don't necessarily have the best fitting waist, but they do have some nice jeans. So if anything, just get your jeans taken in when you get them from Zara and they'll be perfect. I've gotten so many jeans taken in by Zara and they are perfect now. So these, that's all I have to do and they'll be great. They do have like an ombre effect, which you guys will see either or. But yeah, these I got in a US 10. I like to get a 10 for a little bit extra room and a little bit extra length when it comes to Zara's jeans. So if you notice that my jean sizes are usually a little bit on the bigger side, that's because I like to get a little bit extra length. I feel like sometimes Zara's jeans are not long enough for me. So that's why I get a bigger size and then I just get them taken in. So now we're gonna move on to the next piece. So, so I don't forget, I'm going to just hop out of the clothes real quick and show you guys the two accessories that I got from Zara. So the first one is this necklace right here and it is a choker. It looks like an age type of silver. So it has like a little bit of black in it. So it looks very rustic and aged. And I really like that look because it gets like vintage vibes and it has these three coins on it and it is a choker. And I wore this the other night to the Victoria Monet concert with the outfit that I had on and it was just a cute little touch. I loved it. The three little coins were just sitting right on my shirt and it just looked really good. But I've been loving chokers lately. I've been trying to get out of wearing the same old necklaces that I've been wearing for ages, okay? But I haven't been able to find like a good everyday necklace and this isn't bad, but it is a really good piece to wear when I rock my silver outfits or my outfits where I wanna wear silver accessories. This is gonna be a really nice touch to those looks. So yeah, they also have this one on Zara that's gold. It's not this one, but it's a different style that I've been looking at and I'm probably gonna get that too because I've, y'all, I, I need a new necklace, okay? I'm tired of wearing this necklace. I'm pretty sure this is from Amazon and I don't know where this LV necklace is from. I've had it for so long. I don't remember where it's from. I need a new one, but I don't remember where it's from to be able to get another one. So if I ever figure it out, I'll let y'all know, but I really love this necklace right here and I have a pair of shoes to show you in a sec. So these are the heels. I know, what is this? What is going on here? I don't understand. Yes, they are some furry burgundy mules. They look crazy, but I love these shoes, y'all. I love me a good pair of like unique, ugly, like I'm that kind of person that likes the funny looking sneakers, like the weird, odd looking sneakers. I love these heels so, so much. And I really like the fact that the heel is not that high. I love a good heel, but lately I've just been like over it. I'm over it. I want something that is a little more comfortable. I can't keep doing these five, six inch heels. I just can't do it. I love that these are a nice statement piece, but you don't have to break your ankles to look good, okay? High fashion for the low low, as in the heel, <laughs> but these are so cool. I just, I just had to get them. I just love how unique they are, and they're very soft, very furry. I'm not sure how these are to wear necessarily. Hopefully my feet are not sliding around in these. I don't know. 
we shall find out. But yeah, this is the last accessory I have in today's video, so let's get back to the clothes. So next up we have this dress right here, and I should have put it on a hanger so I could hold it up properly, but it is a mesh, I keep dropping it. It is a mesh midi dress. It's kind of maxi, but midi as well. And as you can see, it's like a gray and black, and I just really liked the color on this, or the pattern and the color on this. And I got this in a size medium, but I definitely could have gotten a size small because this has a lot of stretch in it. And usually if I get my true to size and something that is very stretchy, it doesn't fit how I want it to fit. So I definitely could have gotten a small in this, but like I said, I just really liked the print on this. And I think this will look good with silver. It will look good with black. I'll probably do like silver or like a grayish toned. If I had a gray bag, the gray Bottega bag, that would look really good with this, but I think I'm just gonna stick with silver because that's what I have. Or maybe like a, a pooter, like that charcoaly, silvery, y'all know what I'm talking about? That would look really good with this as well, but I just thought this was a nice dress, especially for the upcoming fall to layer with. If you wanted to wear like a coat or something over this, this is a really good layering piece. Or if you wanted to wear a whole long sleeve underneath this, or, or a shirt in general, you could do that as well, just for a little bit of extra coverage. But this I just thought was really, really pretty, so that's why I picked it up. So these next two pieces I did not get intentionally to wear together, but now that I have them, I'm like, they have to go together. So it is this sweater vest right here, and I love me a good sweater vest. They're so comfortable, like it's just like a comfy, cozy feeling, I love these. This is in a size large, of course, I like the very like slouchy, droopy, like oversized sleeveless top look. So I went for a large and it's very thick. This is some very thick material y'all. So I can't wear this until it's like 40 degrees outside because it's very warm. And right along with it, I have these pants and these are pretty much the same material. They do have a drawstring. They are stretchy around the waist. So they're very, very comfy. These are definitely going to get a lot of use. These are probably one of my favorites that I've gotten in a while as far as like sweatpants go. They're very thick, they are very soft. This is a very soft material and they also have a wide leg at the bottom. So these are gonna be very cute with like sneakers or slides if you wanna wear this running errands. This is a really good airport fit. This and the sleeveless sweatshirt. That's gonna be a really cute look. You can dress these up as well, but I feel like I'm gonna be more on a casual vibe wearing this, if anything because that's really the vibes I'd be on. So next up, I wanted to try this out. I seen it and I just really liked the colors, the prints, I don't know, it was something about it. So these are the pants. I got these in a size large and I believe this is like the plisse material. I believe that's how you say it. And as you can see, it's kind of like renaissance -y, looks kind of fiery. I don't really know what's going on here, but I do love the colors and the pants are just really flowy and airy, which is what drew me to them. And they do have a drawstring that actually works. And then there is also a matching top, which is right here. And honestly, I think I just really like the top. You could wear this with obviously different bottoms than the matching ones if you don't wanna to be too like matchy matchy, but this I got in a size medium and it is really, really nice. I think I'm gonna actually pair these I'm gonna show you in the trial portion together, but I think I would probably wear this with like a regular pair of jeans, like the ones that I have on, for example, and the ombre at the bottom would look really good. But this is very stretchy, could have sized down for sure, but I wanted to get a medium just in case a small was too small, because y'all know Zara, you, you just don't know sometimes. Like it might be true to size, it might be not your size, and you just never know. So I'm glad I got a medium. So I know now that when I get this material, I can size down, but this is really cute. I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear. I'm not sure what the vibe is. Heels, sandals, probably sandals, but I don't have a lot of sandals, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but gold would look really good with this. Gold accessories, a gold bag, maybe some gold sandals or something. But yeah, this is just really cute to me. And I'll probably pair these individually Maybe together, I don't know, but I like this a lot. So you guys know the denim dresses on Zara always hit, okay? If y'all don't remember that denim dress that had everyone in the chokehold, it had me as well. I still have it. 
I had to get this one. And I actually have another one after this that I'm gonna show you. But this one right here is gorgeous. It's a dark denim, as you can see, and it has some piping down it like that. It is a midi and it does have some wires in here as well, which is really nice because it'll, you know, keep the girls looking real good. And this is the back of the dress and it does have a split right there for comfort, obviously, so you're not walking like <laughs> a pencil. But this is so cute. I've seen this on so many people and it looks good on everyone. And I was like, I have to get this. I don't know when or where I'm gonna wear this, but I feel like this is a piece that you can have in your wardrobe for a long time. And it's also a very good layering piece for when it does get cold. It's not like it's something you can't wear anymore because you could easily wear a top underneath this a short sleeve top, long sleeve, whatever, and do a really cute layered look. So I'm super excited about this dress. I got it in a medium. I got the original denim dress in a medium. So I figured a medium would be good in this one too because it's kind of the same vibe. So yeah, this is so, so gorgeous. I can't wait to wear this. I don't know how I'm gonna wear this. I feel like red would look good with this, a red lip. I don't know. Y'all let me know down below if you have this dress or if you, are interested in this dress, how would you wear it? If you would do a pop of color, I think a pop of color is necessary for this, but you could keep it very subtle as well. But for me, cause I'm extra, I'll probably do a pop of color. So like I said, remember the blue denim dress, this is that same dress in black. So I had to, had to get it. This one is just a all black version of that dress, like I said, but it is, very, in my opinion, for me at least, it's more practical because I wear black all the time. I have a lot of things I could wear with this. The denim one, I, I, I had some things that I could wear with it and I've showed you guys how I styled it, but I think the black one for me makes more sense. So I could get a lot of use out of this black one, but this is the same concept. I got it in a medium. It does have the zipper in the back and it does have a decent amount of stretch, a good stretch, it's like a thick, comfortable suck you in type of stretch, which I really like, but a true to size stretch in my opinion. I feel like you should stick with your normal size in this versus trying to size down because it might be a little too tight, okay? So we wanna be able to breathe this fall. So I would definitely say get your true to size in this because that's pretty much what I did and it worked perfectly for me. So I'm gonna say the same for you guys. Okay, so next up we have this top right here and it looks like nothing but it is a kind of oversized T type of vibe and one side is sleeveless and the other side is a little bit more exaggerated. I got this in a large, of course, y'all know the baggy vibes all the way. And I got this because it's black and white one. And I feel like this is one of those basics that you can elevate very easily. So y'all know I love a good pop of red. I would definitely do a pop of red. You could do orange, you could do yellow, you could do green. Blue, you could do whatever color you wanna do. And with this, you could do a pair of like black jeans, a black skirt, maxi skirt, that kind of vibe. You could wear it with a pair of white sneakers. You could do heels. So I really like these types of tops because they're very versatile and you could do a lot with them. And I just like the asymmetric situation going on at the top. It just gives it a little bit more character, a little bit more oomph versus it just being a black and white oversized t-shirt. It's very boxy. So you definitely want to tuck it in to give yourself a little bit more shape. Unless you wanna go for the boxy look, do you sis? But I would definitely like tuck it in on one side to kinda like, you know, give yourself a little bit more shape so it doesn't look super frumpy. But other than that, I love this top. So it can't be a Zara haul without getting a pair of cargo pants. So I have these right here. I don't know what color they're looking like on camera but they're pretty much like a grayish, kind of like a hint of like lilac, purplish. I don't know if y'all see what I'm seeing, but I really like this color. It's very different. I don't have any uh, cargo pants like this. I got these in a US 12 because I do believe, I, I want to say these were labeled as oversized, but I'm not 100% sure. But usually when something is labeled as oversized or just baggy or whatever it is, I usually go for a 12 at, in Zara because I noticed that's like the more comfortable fit. A 10 usually just isn't the exact fit or the vibe I'm going for. So I always go with a 12 and it always fits me really well. And it does have a drawstring. So if it is a little too big, 
you can kind of like get away with it and just you know tie the drawstring a little tighter and it won't look so bad but i also like how it gives a little bit of extra length as well and then at the bottom of these it does have a drawstring so you can tighten it down here and scrunch it up or just have it a wide leg i'm not sure i probably would do both if i didn't want it to be like dragging on the ground i'd probably do the uh scrunching it up but if you do want it to have that like slouchy baggy oversized look then you could just leave it like this and kind of tighten it a little bit but i really like this color i am a little stumped because i don't know what i'm gonna wear with this because of the color i don't have anything this color necessarily but the seams on this are like a cream so maybe a cream crop top some cream slides or something very i don't know I think that's what I'll probably do with this because that is what color the seams are and that's just an easy way to match something with something that you're not exactly sure what to wear with it, if that makes sense. So yeah, I really like these a lot and I might go ahead and get me another pair as well. I'm not sure what other colors they have, but I really like this one. Okay, so next up we have a pair of jeans and I believe the last item in this video, which I have one more item, is a pair of jeans as well. And Zara has been killing it with the jeans. So when I saw these, I fell in love. As you can see, they have like a paint splatter type of detail on it. And it's like, I guess this would be a dark wash. And then it has the like white, a grayish, like a cream, black, all these different color paint splatters, which I absolutely love. I love, 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 love these jeans, you guys. So nice. I love when jeans have like designs or very subtle things like this on them because it just gives them a little bit of character and it makes it not like the other jeans you have in your closet that are probably similar to those. Like you could only have so many pair of light wash jeans, dark wash jeans, but when you have this type of design on it, it makes them very different than the ones you already have, if that makes sense. I got these in a size US 12 and they fit me really, really well. They have that baggy slouchy feel that I like and they also look really good with heels and they're long enough for me to wear them with heels as well. So I am so excited about these jeans. I cannot wait to style them. You could do sneakers with these as well. I think this will look really good with sneakers too. I don't have any necessarily that will go with this, but these are one of my new favorite pairs of jeans. All right, you guys, so last but certainly not least, we have these jeans right here, and these jeans are absolutely beautiful. When I seen these, I literally ran to check out because the wash on these is absolutely gorgeous. It is like a cream, tan, gray mix, and it's just beautiful. These are so, so nice, and they do have distressing around the rim, and they just look really good, y'all. I got these in a size US 12 because like I said, I like to get them a little bit bigger than I normally would just so I can get them taken in. But these are actually fairly long, so I could have gotten a US 10, but that's fine. I'll just go get them taken in. And I wanted to show you, if you could see that, the bottoms have this really nice distressing on them. So they just look very like rugged, very edgy, worn, but not. I just love that whole look. If you haven't been looking at Zara's denim, you definitely should because they've been dropping some heat, okay? And these, I absolutely love. I styled these in a Shein video. I loved it, you guys. I love that whole vibe. I love that whole look. So I'm definitely gonna be getting a lot of use out of these. These are a very unique color. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to wear them necessarily, but because it is like a grayish cream, it shouldn't be that difficult for me to style these a bunch of different ways but I am obsessed with these jeans, you guys. Literally, I said the last pair were my favorite, but I'm gonna have to say these are my new favorite as well because these are different. These are like completely different from any other jeans I own. As far as the color goes, just the look of them, they give a very vintage look, which I love. I love when a pair of jeans is like brand new, but they look vintage. That's what this gives, and I'm just obsessed with these. So I'll put the clip up of when I styled it in the Shein video over here, and any pictures, I think I took pictures in these as well with that outfit. I'm definitely gonna go on Zara and check out their denim to see what they have dropped because they've been killing it with the denim, dresses, bags, shoes, like the whole denim, everything on Zara has been eating. So I'm definitely gonna check out their denim section to see if I could find me some more gems. But this is the very last piece I have in today's video.